I don't like watching my dudes from San Diego get taken advantage of. I hate watching people from San Diego fall into that Cleveland housing trap, right? I hate seeing it, and I'm here to stop it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I will be your advocate in the Cleveland market. Today, I'm advocating for Rod. Rod's an investor from San Diego. And what happens? I see it all the time. Folks, I've sold $200 million worth of rental properties in Cleveland. I know a thing or two about the market, right? Nobody's got more tenants around here than I do. I know what I'm doing, okay? And being involved in the market, being involved in all these transactions and this or that, I see it all. Everything that's anything that's going on in this town, I got an idea what's up, right? If people are doing a lot of business, their name comes across my desk, right? And what I see all the time is people taking advantage of people like my client Rod. Rod's from San Diego. People love San Diego investors. People love investors from all over California, honestly, because everything in Cleveland seems so cheap compared to what you guys are used to in California, right? I, we call it looking at things with the out-of-state eyes, right? And what I aim to do on Holton Wise TV is, is like take off the filter, take off the out-of-state eyes filter, and instead present properties to you guys in an open and honest and transparent way, right? Hey, you could pay X and get X, and your result should be Y. You could pay Q and... and are and you get what you pay for i guess is what i'm saying right you could buy a really expensive property and that might work for you uh i'll tell you how the ownership experience is going to be you can buy a really really cheap property and i'll tell you how the ownership experience is going to be and whatever works for you works for you i guess is what i'm saying right i just think there needs to be more open communication with out-of-state investors and that's what i aim to provide and that's what i'm doing for you today rod and if anybody else wants to work with me like rod's doing uh, click the link below, and you can call my team, set up a, a free call, and we'll, we'll go through the process with you so you can work like me and Rod. And what I have today, Rod, is a duplex. I like it quite a bit. Uh, it's in a C-grade neighborhood, only going to require 25 k in uh, money out of your pocket. We'll get you a loan for the rest. And you're going to be bringing in 18 k a year in rent. That's gross rent, though. You're not going to get to keep all 18 k of that, and I'm going to break down every penny that you're probably going to spend as well as the market, the property itself, the renovation of the property, properties that are more expensive, properties that are less expensive. I'm going to break all of it down. And if you want to do the deal, great. My team will handle all the property management, maintenance, insurance, tenant screening, leasing, everything on your behalf. If you don't, tell me why not. And on the next video, I will go that direction and try to find you something that better fits your needs. Welcome back, folks. Let's pick up the property. This one is a killer deal, man. I love this one, right? Look at this thing. She might, might not look so pretty on the eyes, but once you get to know her, folks, she's got a good soul. You know what I'm saying? All right, this duplex, nice solid C-grade duplex, nice wood here, looking fresh, looking new. Third key, man. And they've gone in and done everything, and they renovated it the same way I would have renovated it, right? Fans of the show, y'all hear me talk. You go dark floors. People love them dark floors. Agreeable gray walls, white trim. That's what you do, right? If you're watching this and you're like, yeah, I like the color blue better, blah, blah, blah. Bro, it's not about you, okay? It's about what is popular, right? It's about neutral tones. It's about... Not picking out the favorite color of somebody. It's picking out a color that most people are going to be cool with, right? And statistically speaking, that's going to be this layout, right? 
white kitchen cabinets, all that. Looking good. This is a fresh unit, man. We got to do nothing here, it appears, other than pop a for rent sign in the front yard, market this bad boy on Holton Wise TV, and you will get yourself some solid tenants, man. Looks like the seller has gone in and done it all, right? Truly good-looking property for us, folks. And what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to be able to get a, oh, by the way, <coughs> hard to see, but you can see the mechanicals in the background, all new, right? All newer. Look how new those all look, right? Two furnaces, two hot water tanks. It's very important that these are new, by the way, folks. Just so you know, furnaces cost about three to $3,500 a piece right now. So if you got to do two of them, do the math. That's 7K hot water tanks, about a G, it's like 1200 Prices keep going up, right? It's 2022. Welcome to the COVID world. Welcome to Biden's inflation. Anyway. Moral of the story is all this stuff that you see here that's new, you're looking at like $9,000 worth of stuff, right? Hot water tanks, they last about 15 years. Furnaces last about 30, right? So they did a lot of work for you, right? This thing is in solid shape. This is an earner, man. This is probably one of the better investments on the market, right? Solid C-grade neighborhood. I like the neighborhood. 228 Gates, Illyria. Two days on the market. We're going to need to move quick, right? This will fly. It's going to have multiple offers. Now, they're asking 100, right? And we're going to get, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? For, or they're asking 110, rather. What are we going to get? Well, we're going to slap two tenants in there. Cash paying or Section 8. Both work well in this neighborhood. This is a neighborhood where the neighborhood, in my opinion, is solid enough where you get a decent chunk of qualified cash paying tenants. But on top of that, love me some Section 8 because there ain't nothing better then government guaranteed cheddar. So it works well with both. Those are really the sweet spot markets, markets where you get the widest possible tenant base, right? It's how you keep your tenancy uh, vacancies down, folks, right? If you get into some neighborhoods that are so high risk, your really only choice is Section 8 because if you try to go with just cash paying tenants, you're going to deal with just way too many turnovers and evictions and not payment of rent, right? And then you get to other neighborhoods that are real nice and you don't really want to go Section 8 because you have really nice high quality tenant base but the price to rent ratios are usually all out of whack so this is like the c spot if people often ask me questions like yo is this good is this good is that good is this bad right is this neighborhood good is this neighborhood bad i don't i don't like those questions i don't like the question of is this neighborhood good or is this neighborhood bad i think that's a flawed question right why is that a flawed question good for what bad for what right I, it's not a thing right like all right this particular neighborhood is good in the uh, aspect that I think this is the sweet spot for investing in long-term buy and hold real estate, right? Like if you're asking me if I think this is good for a buy and hold investor who wants that sweet spot of low prices, high price to rent ratio, wide tenant base, I think it's great. I love buying rental properties in neighborhoods like this. I happen to love Elyria quite a bit from a rental property perspective. But if you're asking me, like, do I want to live in this house? No, motherfucker, I'm rich. I don't want to live in this house. Shit. So I don't like the answer to the question of, like, good or bad, right? Because of that. Because of that. What I did is I created the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, right? And I got a link to it in the show notes below. It's also available on the tools and resources section of HoltonWise.com. You can also Google it. And what I did is I graded every neighborhood on an 8F scale. A being high price low risk f being low price high risk okay so like good bad it varies based on good for what bad for what varies based upon the investor right so utilize that guide to see where your sweet spot is right you might be an investor who's like dude i want the cheapest deals possible and i only want section eight well then hey man for you you might be able to get something like this a little bit cheaper and only go Section 8 if you go to like a D or an F neighborhood. But you might be like, oh, I don't want risk. And you might want to go up to like a B neighborhood, right? So look into that. With all that said, this is like a very, very high C grade neighborhood, which in my opinion is a nice sweet spot for long-term cash flow investing, okay? So I truly do like that. And this is going to fly. But 110. I would love in a perfect world to be able to get you this property 100K. Now, here's the deal. I think there's going to be multiple offers. So if you really want it, don't be afraid to go above 100K. But I think 100K would be the sweet spot. It'd be nice to see you get that. But I cannot guarantee that, of course. I can't guarantee anything. But it's going to be tough because I know there's going to be a lot of people who are very excited 
to see it renovated, to see all those new mechanicals, right? This is what the numbers would look like uh, on an annualized basis at 100K. 1,500 comes in, 781, 25 would be your average NOI out of that, right? So of the 18K that comes in every year, an average would be just under 10K in pure profit, right? Even though the furnace is new, the hot water tanks are new, you see that I have you saving money towards capital expenditures, right? I have you saving 900 a year for that, 900 a year for vacancy, 900 a year for repairs and maintenance. Those are all $900 that go into your pocket, but I don't want you to consider them to be profit because in 15 years, I'm like, hey, dog, you need to give me a grant because we got to fix your hot water tank, things of that nature. Or eventually, a tenant will move out, and those beautiful, agreeable gray walls you see right now are going to need to get repainted, stuff like that, right? Pure $9,375, though, in profit is what I anticipate. If you pay 100 you only put down 25 k Bank kicks in 75 should result in a 22.3% cash-on-cash return. That, folks is a solid deal very hard to achieve numbers that look better than this on a property of this quality level with this age of mechanicals in a neighborhood that i consider to be high c low b i think this is a killer deal works at 100 perfectly yes your returns will go down slightly if you go above that but i think based on the competition all the investors coming from all over the world you may want to bid more than 100 but i can submit any offer you like let me know what you want to do thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment